Hello and welcome to the Knowledge Bar. My name is Jerry and I'm going to be your knowledge expert in how to use a click-free transformer backup device. Now the click-free is a series of embedded software tools inside the hardware with a USB connection. Once again, the software is inside the device so you can't lose the disk. And this particular device works with any other USB external storage from what I can tell. Works with hard drives, works with flash drives, works with works with iPods and I'm guessing it would also work with any camera with a USB connection so long as you have a USB access to the storage. The way how it works then once we go ahead and make our connection and we just go ahead and hook it up into an available USB slot on our computer. In this case I have Windows XP automatically detecting the device both the, uh, the click free and the external storage. This is the external storage right in here and then in just a second here it pops up and reads the, uh, the software that's uh, inside the the click free. Click free package here already reads the uh, setup material that I've had uh, earlier placed inside the external device. So when it pops up here with the countdown, all right, normally you can go ahead and you can take advantage of going into the options folder if you want to make some changes in what gets backed up. Options folder tells us how much space is still left on the uh, device. In this case, I have plenty of room. And we can double check. We go here. Notice how the, uh, the countdown has been halted. And I can make changes at this point. I can go ahead and change what backups I want. The easiest thing that you get out of this device is backing up your data, your pictures, your files, your letters, your music. It's not a system backup. You can't use this to recover in case of a hard drive collapse, all right? But you do get all of your stuff. Once again, you can go ahead. The default is everything, which is too much, quite frankly, for most folks. You pick up all the, uh, the leftover browser cache material and all the setup pieces that don't work well, from this device as a, as a recovery piece. But as, just, as something that allows you to pick up everything in your documents folder or the stuff you keep on a desktop, I find it excellent. Once again, you go ahead, you select the items that you want, and once you're done, you close out the options and the countdown continues. I don't need to wait, I can go ahead and tell it to just start, it goes right in, runs through the area, and it gives you an update. Now in this case I have no new files have been collected, but as you notice these are the files that it has picked up on the last time it's uh, done the backup. If I want to restore, go in the other direction, I have down in here, and I do the restore, I can simply go in the reverse direction. I pick out what type of files I want, in this case let's say I wanted to go ahead and pick out something from you know, my artwork, so I can go ahead, click that category, select the individual files, and back them up either to the original location or into a new location like, say, the desktop. And go ahead, and then when you're done, all we gotta do is disconnect and put it away someplace. And that's all there is. Neat, huh? Thanks for watching.